Tobias Labs has some great software for image editing and they have a great Black Friday deal starting today. I will get into that later in my video. But what I've been using Photo AI lately is fixing scanned images. It's a great tool for that. Look at this image here. Hi, it's Peter here and let's get right into the business. And a disclaimer, I have been using Topaz Labs software for a few years now and I've really enjoyed them. I use them mainly as a plugin for Lightroom Classic. And this video is not sponsored by them. However, I do have affiliate links in the description down below for you to check out what your prices are for the software for Black Friday deal that they have. But like I said, I will talk about that later. Let's quickly look what's new in Photo AI and what's improved. First one is that now you can choose which faces are refined or enhanced. When you open an image in Photo AI, it will automatically start doing its autopilot and fixing the image. And after it's done, you can start tweaking that. And the first one is here that you can click here and then it will show you which faces are uh, chosen and then you can choose if you don't want to enhance all the faces, you can choose the ones that you want. Sometimes you might not want to enhance all of them. They might be, you know, out of focus in the background with the background blur and you don't want to enhance them at all. You only want to enhance the ones that are in the, in the focusing area that are sharp. And you can also adjust the strength, how much the face is enhanced and refined. Autopilot can be adjusted. Autopilot automatically starts enhancing your image and it will use the basic settings, the default settings, and you can adjust these default settings from here. And these are the default settings. The only thing I have changed is the up, is the auto upscaling. I have turned it off. If I want to turn it on, I can do it after Autopilot has done its magic. Then I can upscale the image if I want. Very seldom I need to do that, but sometimes I do. Lens corrections can be turned off. You can turn off the lens corrections from here. If you're using Photo AI as a Lightroom plugin, for example, then turn this off because Lightroom has already done the lens corrections. You don't want to do them twice. And noise reduction adjustments. Topaz Photo AI will do a very good denoising your image. And you can adjust it from here. And this is a good thing. Autopilot will determine the basic noise reduction and then you can adjust it. Sometimes Photo AI will make the image look a bit too plasticky. So lowering this sometimes might help to make the image look more natural. But it's, of course, up to you what you want to do. But the autopilot is a good starting point anyways. And usually when they make a software upgrade, they do some bug fixes and performance in, uh, enhancements or make the performance faster. On my computer, Photo AI is a bit slow, but it doesn't really matter if you have only few images. But if you need to do lots and lots of images, then it might be a problem. But for me, when I, you know, only every now and then use it for one image, it's not a big problem at all. And now let's look at some of the results that I got from my scanned images. The results are amazing, but of course they're not perfect. This is a 200% magnification and there are some artifacts, but nothing that will ruin the image. The image looks a lot better than the original. This is the way it works as a plugin. It automatically starts to autopilot the settings and then if you're happy with that, then just go back to Lightroom. Yes, the original is a negative. I know this is the most exciting moment in my video of all time. Let's put on some music and wait for Topaz AI to do the magic. In real life, it took about 2 minutes and 45 seconds. So like I said, not the fastest software, but if you only have a few images, I don't think that's a problem. Then I apply the preset to make it positive again. And I think the results are, again, quite amazing. And here are the images, the original and the Topaz AI version side by side. Look how much better the Topaz AI image is. And this is really, really good. This is a really good software if you need to enhance old images or scanned images. I use it all the time for those. How well does it work with old images? This image was taken with EP1, the first micro four thirds camera from Olympus. I turned on enhanced resolution and slightly adjusted the noise reduction from 63 to 50. The reason that I lowered the noise reduction was that it was a bit too plastic and I still, I think it is a bit too plasticky. But I like the results and this is where Topaz A Photo AI really shines. Images taken with older digital cameras and of course, the already mentioned scanned images. 
I also made some adjustments in Lightroom Classic after Photo AI has done its magic. And usually this is the way I do. I first go to Photo AI and then I finish the image in Lightroom Classic. It's amazing how good Photo AI is. This is version 1.0.9. So this is the first version of their Photo AI software. Of course, they've been working with AI a long, long time. But still, this is only the first version of this particular software. What will happen when it's on version 3, for example, if it's this good already? So I'm, I can't wait to see how they can improve this software because it is astonishing. And then the Black Friday deal. I have a link in the description that leads you to this page, their Black Friday page. And most likely you will have different prices here because it depends on what software you already have. So check out what your deal is. And if you're interested in using this link, I will get a small commission, but you do not pay any extra. So you will support my channel and my free content on YouTube and on my blog too. I have used all of these softwares and that's why my prices are like this. The one software that I don't have active right now is the Video AI. That's because uh, the previous version has been really, really slow. It takes, you know, hours or days to, to uh, upscale or fix video footage. But I will test it now because the price is quite nice for this upgrade. And I will test the video AI because sometimes I need it. I do get some, you know, low or resolution footage sometimes to add to my projects for clients. And sometimes they want 4K video and they have like SD or HD material that they want to including that and that's why I sometimes need that but uh, I haven't been able to use it because of the speed but now I will test the video AI too and see how how that is improved and here are some more videos about Topaz Lab software if you're not familiar with uh, Gigapixel, Denoise AI or Sharpen AI all those are included in Photo AI but they also provide them as standalone software you might want to check those videos but hey thanks for watching and bye for now